The tragedy in Japan will assumedly have a very, very significant impact on the island's tourism industry and thus on our economy. So Senator Tina Rosemunia Barnes has actually asked Governor Calvo to form a high-level working group to assess these very interesting changes, and the good senator is joining us tonight. We're going to talk about that very topic. Senator, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jason, for having me. Thank you to KUAM for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak on the letter that I sent to the governor uh, on the 18th. All right. Well, always a pleasure to have you here. And uh, rather unfortunate circumstances that we're, yes. that we're meeting under, but um, you, again, have asked the governor to uh, form a... Bring not all a the task, yeah, not a task force, a special project team. Yes. Just uh, describe, you know, what was in the... Well, just to bring the all the stakeholders together. You know, uh, Jason, we all know that our Japan uh, visitor arrivals have been our number one uh, economic uh, tourism driver. You know that in the tourism market, we probably have over 20,000 uh, employees. 60% of our economic uh, drive is, is from tourism. And... Um, and we understand that with the tragedy that's happened, it's important to know that as we continue to open our hearts, open our pockets to share and help our brothers and sisters from Japan, we've got to also look at, at protecting and preserving what we have here today. Mm -hmm. And you and I know that tourism is our number one market, and we've got to protect and make some changes and call all the stakeholders together so that as we see the decline in the tourist market, especially from uh, Japan, we've got to be able to make some necessary changes, tweak some changes, and move some uh, 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 creativity around and make sure that uh, we don't um, increase any more of the decline that that is being assumed right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we, it was the earthquake, the tsunami and now with the radiation fallout uh, we were looking at a uh, it was at a 10 percent decline in the tourist industry now it's possibly looking at 25 or 30 percent uh, as we look at temporarily shifting some of the marketing funds that have already been allocated we can shift and in looking into the tourist dollars going into marketing for folks from south korea hong kong Taiwan, maybe even Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was one of the ideas. There were several suggestions that I brought up to the governor, and I spoke to him um, earlier, and he was very, very enthused uh, and really liked the idea of bringing all the stakeholders together and making sure that we have a one Guam, team Guam approach. Okay, so let's talk about that. Exactly who are the stakeholders? Are you taking, you know, people maybe from the private sector as well as people yeah. there, like a GovGuan economist, and maybe a right. couple people from UOG. And we're, we're, we're bringing in all those stakeholders, those names that you've mentioned. We're mm -hmm. looking at the Guam Hotel and Restaurant Association, of course, GVB, of course, from the governor's uh, office, the executive branch, folks from the university. Uh, I want to say, uh, with the assistance of the governor and GVB, all the stakeholders that that feel that there would be an impact here and of course i want to work closely with the governor to bring those stakeholders to the table uh, i understand that working closely with gvb that we do have a meeting uh, slated for uh, i want to say april 1st okay. and i'm hoping sooner if not april 1st then sooner and it, it's just uh sometime uh, this coming week. Okay, well, let's take a step back for a moment. Um, so is the intent of the working group, should, you know, the governor go ahead and, you know, allow it to fully materialize, is it going to be uh, to project or maybe hopefully to pinpoint the exact number and how Guam is going to be impacted by the downturn in Japanese visitor arrivals? Or are you guys also proposing recommendations and saying, you know, based on the expertise we have in the membership, you know, here is what we think should go forward and here's like solution A, B, C, D, and now let's pursue those. That's, you're, you're right on point, Jason. That's definitely the case. As we bring in the stakeholders and we look at the numbers that have already been projected and as far as the decline and then knowing that the numbers are coming in on a daily basis and the decrease is getting higher, um, it's important that the recommendations that have been uh, brought to the the table brought to our committee that we've shared with the governor that those come up to the table and are there any new ideas of course the, the some of the recommendations were that we brought up again we talk about the shift in marketing dollars that have already been slated mm -hmm. we look at probably temporary uh, moratoriums on uh, government uh, fees that are assessed on on um, 
on air carriers. Uh, we talk about the uh, recommendations that any of our um, um, stakeholders out there like want to bring to the table uh, to help uh, the market grow. Uh, we talk about possibly looking and bringing up to the forefront the Chinese visa waiver. Mm -hmm. As you know, in 1988, we had that project uh, with the Japan and U.S. Mm -hmm. visa waiver that included Guam. Uh, this is one time that we can really visit that. We look at uh, the military because of the migration of mil maybe military personnel coming to here that we probably uh, look at the housing for that for that arena to be assessed maybe through the hotel industry okay. and not the the uh, housing rental industry here is because that we we don't want to have a spike and in increases in 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 rental uh, uh, charges, uh, especially with housing being uh, a topic of conversation, as it is my oversight mm -hmm. that we do have a shortage of housing here. But again, um, Jason, it is important that we as stakeholders uh, come to the same table from the governors, from the executive branch, from the Guam Hotel Restaurant Association, from the air carriers, to the private vendors out there, from the university. And I'm hoping that uh, the governor will respond to my letter. He said to me today that he has some folks working on it and that we hope to be meeting well soon, okay. working closely with Guam Visitors Bureau. And I, and I think that it's a st positive step forward into preserving and protecting our tourists industry market. Okay, Senator. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, but, you know, best of luck to you in this endeavor. I think it's a foregone conclusion. You guys will pursue it. Thank you very much, and we'll keep in touch. We'll see Thank how it turns you. out. Thank you. God bless.